Hi, my name's Phil. These are two of my friends, Henry and Tom. Let's find out how fun our lives are as we introduce Oxford. The CDT is a four-year doctoral programme including one year of training in a load of diverse different areas and three years of research just like a normal doctoral programme. We're spending a year doing all sorts of little short courses and modules, um, learning lots of biomedical stuff that we haven't learned in our undergrads. I like the structure of the course, having a year to prepare beforehand and then decide on what you wanted to specialise in. We have uh, come across uh, several courses covering uh, cover every aspect of the research happening in MME. They throw you in the deep end, definitely. <laughs> and you know, you learn how to learn. I had a job as a chemical engineer in London for a year. I quite like the research at the moment. I missed that quite a lot when I was working. Uh, I did structural engineering, so I spent my life designing bridges before this. I wanted to stop doing the structural stuff. I wanted to go into some more interesting um, niche areas and this seemed like kind of the ideal program to kind of bring me up to speed for a year and then um, go on and do some biomedical work. One of the great things you get to do in your first year is a hospital placement. I really like the hospital placement. We were following a guy called uh, Dr Farmery who's a very lively chap uh, who's still a tutor and a lecturer and researcher as well as being an anesthesiologist. We got to see uh, stenosis, oh, sort of chipping a bit out of someone's spine because it's grown to obstruct a nerve. And we saw, we got to saw a quintuple bypass as well, which was very interesting. Um, and they did it with beating heart, the heart still running, which was a little, you know, nauseating at times, but everyone else in the room seemed really interested in it, so I thought I'd sort of stick my head in and have a look as well. Me and my three other colleagues went to the stroke unit in the uh, John Radcliffe, Radcliffe Hospital and uh, we uh, observed what the uh, pa uh, like, patient was like in there and what the doctor will do to try to assess their condition every day. And we also uh, we were also introduced to some uh, uh, regular and irregular facilities of uh, imaging the patients. As well as all the fantastic engineering that we do here, there's also a whole load of other things, such as some of the fantastic pubs that Oxford has to offer. The White Hall. More candles. Unlike a lot of other universities, uh, Oxford has actually broken down into a lot of different colleges. Uh, here are a few of them. Worcester College! Mansfield College! New College! Close life is very nice. Um, it's pretty much just like an organised social life for you. Hartford College! All Souls! Cross College. 
St John's College. St Anthony's. Green Templeton College. The, the building's really nice, very ancient. Keeble College. Actually, it's pronounced Cable A. Is it though? University College. Queen's College. Teddy Hall. Very nice. Audley College. Pronounced Agabuba. Is it though? No. Trinity College. What a. Christ Church College, Oxford. It's like a big lump of rock with some bits gouged out of it and filled in with toffs and ponds. And so it's really good with Oxford being so small. You don't have to, you know, own a car or even get the bus that often. You can usually walk most places. Um, up in Headington, where the department is, is a little bit out of town, but it's it's fine on the bike. And there's lots of other exciting things to do. Uh, my big one at the moment is life drawing. <laughs> this is a bit of a strange one, I suppose. The Phoenix Picture House. The Oxford Playhouse. The Museum of the History of Science. The Ashmolean Museum. The Wilson of the Bond Hills. They do ice cream and waffles. The Pitt Rivers Museum. Restaurants, like pretty much every culture. Come on! Bombay! Do the accent! Oh. Outside of work, I've just taken up rugby for the university, which is quite fun. Radcliffe Cameron. University clubs. The Oxford Union. 